Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor. Xenosia Galvus, I presume. Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, uh, art or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do over here. Also, don't forget to like this video because that lets me know that you like what you're saying. Um, and if you don't like it, then you can give me a comment and tell me to change it. <laughs> um, okay, that's, yeah, that's, uh, and it helps with the algorithm, of course as we all know. Um, quick announcement. We are on our way to 800 subscribers. We are almost there. I think we have like less than 50 subscribers to go, so that's pretty exciting. Once we get there, we're going to be doing a super awesome live art stream where I'm going to be drawing your Final Fantasy XIV characters or your OCs or you know, anything like that. Uh, just my way to say thank you to you guys for being so awesome. Um, I just never thought I would even get half as close to 800 as we are now, so that's really exciting. Thank you. The occupation is ended. And ended then, and the people must be informed of our victory. But I will not simply give up Gosetsu for lost. Before aught else, we must needs search the runes. Allow me, my friends. The castle is still collapsing into the river and could easily drag you to your deaths. I can navigate the waters easily without fear of drowning. That's fair. Be reasonable, brother. You know he is right. Yeah, Alfie, you can't swim, remember? Burr, a word if I may. My lord withdraws into himself, unable to turn his thoughts from the keep. He ne needs us now more than ever. My friends, I am returned. I swam as far into the ruins as I could. <laughs> and? Did you find him? Nay, lady. Not remained of the keep for me to search. Undermined from below and shaken from above, the manner of its collapse was most unusual. If the floor beneath him gave way before the rest, it is not impossible that he could have been sent tumbling into the river. But the water is thick with silt and debris. Despite my best efforts, I could not find him. I am sorry. It seemed really fast. There is not for which you should apologize. Thank you, Soraban, for taking it upon yourself to search. The castle is in ruins, and the people are eager to learn the fate of their nation. We leave at once. Are you sure, my lord? The day is won, and the morrow beckons. It falls to us. It falls to us to greet it. I'm going down to the docks to see if I can't get one of the Confederate ships to take us to the Enclave. Mayhap we should tell the others at the House of the Fierce to gather there. Magna and Sadu know not of what happened in the castle. I will go and tell them. They fought valiantly and with honor, Serena. I pray you tell them that as well. You too, my friend were instrumental in this triumph. I must insist that you be present when we bring these tidings to my people. <sighs> you all look like shite. That's rude. The captain thought you might need a ride to the Enclave. <laughs> Ready to come aboard? On you go then, sit wherever you like. I don't know what happened in there, but it's over. You won. That's cause enough for celebration. And those people you're about to see need something to celebrate. We brought everyone here. You were the last to arrive. 
I see. Thank you. We owe the Confederacy a great debt. I have waited 25 years for this moment. You owe us naught. Look! It's Lord Hien! Lord Hien! It's him! He lives! He lives! Some few words of encouragement would not go amiss, my lord. Uh, right. Uh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. This is rather more daunting than I had anticipated. But you are right. I must be strong. Wish me luck. We are a sorry lot, are we not? Tired, dirty, stinking of blood and sweat and ash. The people pushed to the point of breaking. And yet, we won. The perseverance to endure decades of oppression. The will to carry on the legacy of those we have lost. These were the bonds that held us together and gave us the strength to reclaim our home. After 25 hard years, the shadow of the Empire no longer darkens these lands, and we may at last look forward to the dawning of a new day. But, my friends, it will be a day of work. So I ask you, have you yet the strength to stand? To rise up with me once more? Here and now? And begin to rebuild our homeland? This will not end with Doma. We will see to that. Right, Lise? <laughs> right! Indeed. This is but the beginning. The tide is turning, and it shall soon bear us back across the seas, and onward unto the next battlefield.
another nation saved. Another day. Are you quite certain you would not prefer to stay a while longer? There are sure to be festivities at which you would be the guest of honor, like as not. She's like, no, no thanks, no banquets for me. Very well. There are other ways in which we might celebrate. By rejoining the fight for freedom in Giravanya, for one. Short though our time here has been, we have all come to regard this land and her people as our own, I think. But we have done that which we came here to do. Word of Doma's liberation will soon spread throughout the Empire, and we must seize this opportunity to rekindle the fires of liberation in the West. We dare not allow the Imperials a moment's respite, lest they march on Doma again. For the sake of all concerned, we should leave immediately. Did I hear you right? You are leaving. I'm afraid so. We've got our own battle to fight. What about you? Will you be heading back to the steppe? Yes. The war here is ended and there's no cause to remain. The Oranir and Dotharl have already withdrawn. I will follow them anon, but I wish to bid you farewell first. The blue too must return to their homes, but we will be back. Doma has need of merchants and builders and we are eager to offer our services. And just like that, our grand fellowship is broken. Without ceremony or pomp, you steal off into the dark. No matter. We have plenty to be getting on with. Places to be, people to rob, and so on. But the captain never was one for mingling. <laughs> I am a pirate. Give me a song at the tavern and I will be happy. Hobnobbing with Lord Hien. Nay. <sighs> no taste for the finer things. In any event, we need not part ways here. If you are for Kugane, we would be happy to take you. Her waters have always been fruitful. I love that there's pirates, and then we're friends with them. <laughs> I wish you well on your journey, my friends. May you ever walk in crimson. Thank you, Serena, for everything. May the Kami speed you on your way until we meet again. <laughs> I informed Tataru of our coming. She and Hancock should be waiting for us in the Ruby Bazaar. Then it is here we part ways. Best of luck to you and yours in your piratical endeavors, I suppose. Tataru. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, and congratulations on a job well done. It is a pleasure as ever to see your smiling face, Tataru. Less so yours, Hancock, though Rasho and I are sincerely grateful for your assistance. The pleasure was all mine, Master Alphino, I assure you. Anyway, you will be glad to hear that I have already chartered passage for you back to Limsa sir. The ship is to leave port this very day, but the captain has agreed to wait until the four of you have boarded. The four of us? You mean to stay here in Kugane? Yes. I gave it some thought, and I realized that even with Doma free, there's still a need for a woman in the middle. Maybe even more than before, considering all the friends and alliances you made. As I told her many times before, I would be more than willing to assist you. And as I told you many times before, I am not about to let you worm your way into our affairs and exploit our connections for your personal gain. <laughs> ah, must you always presume the worst. You just like you look like a shady salesman, so. <laughs> so there you have it. I will remain here for now. You needn't worry. I'm a regular at the hostelry and a half dozen other local institutions. Everyone loves me. So go, go. Don't let me keep you. Buy your supplies and souvenirs while you still can. When you finish, make haste to the docks. Pier number two, to be precise. I'll be waiting for you there. First to arrive, as always. Hopefully the others will not be far behind. Ah, oh, there you are. All packed and ready to go? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. 
Happily, however, all now seems to be in order. Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and enjoy the journey, won't you? It may be your last chance to rest for a while. That would depend on the good captain's choice of route. As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. And what sordid episode is this, pray tell? Not to speak of, I assure you. You there! Hold that ship! What are you two doing here? Shouldn't you be in Doma? Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. I half wondered if I had done something to offend. This good old-fashioned Irish goodbye. Upon learning that you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. You mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? That too, I. But there was something else I felt I had to say. You helped us win our freedom, and for that I cannot thank you enough. Accordingly, after we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. If you would have us. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about! We harbored no expectations of such generous aid. And as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive defense. To wit, we will send forth Shinobi to provinces far and wide to spread word of our victory, that we might inspire others to take up arms as we did. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid, how am I to face myself? And Gorsetsu? As you wish. I will relay your offer to the Eorzean Alliance. All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lys, to seize the future you want. Never forget. I won't, Yen. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. <laughs> I will hold you to that. Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. By your leave, I shall pave the way for our new alliance. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor! It seems our time is at an end. Go well, my friends. And may we meet again beneath a western sky. Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Alamigo. Gosh, I go <laughs> forgot about this guy. <laughs> I don't know how I could forget about him. I always knew that woman was unfit for command. 
Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole, and for what? Hasn't anybody learned like not to say anything around this guy? <laughs> like the beast yet lives. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. Gosh. I wonder. Will you walk into my parlor once more? For Dolorem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. Zenosia Galvus, I presume. It's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster. A ravenous, insatiable fiend. You, give the butcher your weapon. My... yes, my lord. My lord, this is... A reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more capable than its former owner. I... I swear, I'll not disappoint you, my lord. Good. Now... Silence that mewling little piglet. I would not hear another sound pass her lips. Until I strip the fat from her. Hello, Kryle. Back in Eorzea at last, ready to pick up where we left off and finish the fight. We're not who we were when we left. We're stronger and wiser. So let's do it! Let's get back to Alamigo and defeat Xenos once and for all! Uh, Alfie... Talk to me, baby. Here we are, home at last. I must say, the journey passed more quickly than I had expected. That would be due to the absence of otherworldly interference, I expect. I should be glad if we did not speak of that unpleasantness again. <laughs> mm, spooky. <laughs> Ahem. But in spite of all that and more, we return better for the experience, and more importantly, triumphant. Indeed, and with Doma freed of Imperial oppression, it is only right that we turn our thoughts to the plight of Alamigo. I didn't realize she was coming. Well, I'm all for that, obviously, but I think you should go and see the refugees at Revenant's Toll before doing anything else. They'll be thrilled to hear what we've accomplished, and it'd sound best coming from you. That's true, I forgot about those guys, too. <laughs> Thank you. I shall do as you suggest. Oh, hi. I see I am not too late. Admiral, what are you doing here? The East Saldanar Trading Company informed me of your impending arrival. I have tidings I thought best to share with you in person. From Girabanya? Aye. The Alliance still holds the wall despite several Imperial counterattacks, but we have been unable to press further into occupied territory. Commander Kemp and his men, meanwhile, have made great strides toward rebuilding their depleted ranks. They have been taking it upon themselves to attempt some few operations. With mixed results, I am sorry to say. T'was a complication arising from one such venture which moved me to seek you out. Says 
Oh. During a mission to transport wounded resistance fighters to the Rising Stones, Kryle Baldesian was taken prisoner. Kryle, did they know where she is being held? They did not, but your comrades were informed at once, and I am told Thancred is in Garabanya looking for her as we speak. Grr. How could this have happened? We must seek out Thancred without delay. Nay, Kryle taught me better than that. It would be unwise to act without first acquiring a full understanding of the situation. Thank you for informing us. Tired though we may be, we must make haste to cast our Orions. Pray excuse us, Admiral. Lady Yukiri. There you are. You've heard the news. In broad strokes from Admiral Lafistwin, what happened? Kryle and a squadron of resistance fighters were escorting Estrella and several other wounded to the Rising Stones for further treatment when they were ambushed by Imperial forces. Aaron Vald and his men fought valiantly, but in the chaos. I will make no excuses. We failed to protect her. Do not be so hard on yourself. You protected Estrella and the others, did you not? Tell us about the attack. It was the Skulls. They knew a path across the wall we hadn't found. We thought we were safe once we reached the Black Shroud. Uh, we weren't expecting an ambush. During the fighting, I caught a glimpse of their leader's memories. It was all planned. The advantage of having a walker in the field. I'm not as strong in the Echo as Burr is, of course. Half the time, it's enough to knock me on my arse like I've taken a dose of concentrated ether. So you walked in for Dola's memories. What did you see? A woman promised the world. Education, training, citizenship, all that and more if she but sold her soul. A traitor to her people, a pretender to her masters. It was Zenos himself that gave the order, told her to return with Kryle Baldesian alive. Our agents have been carefully monitoring Imperial communications since the attack, but have yet to intercept any transmissions making reference to Kryle or her current whereabouts. If their orders were to bring Cryo back alive, we can save her if we move quickly enough. As you say, time is of the essence, which is why I intend to slip past enemy lines and see what information I can uncover on my own. In the meantime, it is up to you and our allies to command the Imperials' undivided attention. Lots of shouting and explosions and so forth. Keep them distracted and I will find her. Very well. I wish I could do more to aid you, but I understand. Commander Kemp is on his way to the Castrum as we speak for a meeting with General Alden. If you hurry, you could find him on the road and discuss the situation beforehand. I think Burr and I are going to go and see Conrad like he suggested. You all wait here. <laughs> I think Burr and I... I didn't even get to say in this. Well, well. Isn't this a pleasant surprise? It fills my heart with joy to see you two hale and healthy. Welcome home, Elise. Burr, I'm sure you've heard about Cryo by now. That's why we're here. I'm still not sure what to think about it, but we'll save her. We'll definitely save her somehow. Aye, I've no doubt that you will. You look stronger for your time in the Far East, lass, and that's good news for Cryo. I'd like to think so. But enough about me. How is everything with you and the Resistance? Better than when you last saw us. No mistake. Aravon's been a godsend. Him and Madango and all the other young bloods have achieved so much in such a short time. It's like that tree better stay over there. <laughs> We've been blessed to receive the support of the Flames Alamegan Br Brigade, who have been instrumental in bringing our countrymen from labor camps throughout Girabanya, as well as some political prisoners from the city proper, believe it or not. Together with the refugees returning from Ulda and elsewhere, we've had no shortage of able-bodied men and women eager to join the cause. I knew you wouldn't stop fighting, even after what happened at the Reach. Force of habit, I suppose. Though we've come a long way, we still have far to go. But we'll fight for every ill, and sooner or later, we'll get to Alamigo. But listen to me prattling on when we should be making haste to cast from Orions. There's no point you telling me everything now when you'll only have to say it all again for the Flame General's benefit. You're right. I'll go on ahead and tell the others that you're not far off. You've spoken with Thancred then? Good. Take heart. If anyone can take track her down, it's him. I believe I hear Commander Kemp's party approaching. If you're ready to address Father and the others, let us be about it. 
There you are. And there is Commander Kemp, I see. I know you are eager to speak of our next move, but we should first hear more of your last. Tell us of your deeds in Doma. We did some things and stuff. Saved some people. It's alright. Pray, join me in welcoming our Scion allies, but recently returned from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, eventful as we understand it was. Very well. Allow me. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Doma, free after all these years. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance at victory. We could learn a thing or two from that lad. Our agents report a flurry of communications between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. Tis plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Good. Every Imperial unit in occupied territory will be on the lookout for civil unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. We have a chance, aye. Mayhap the last one we're ever gonna get. While we've done our best to rebuild the resistance, the Imperials have only increased their efforts to root out sympathizers. If we keep on playing for smaller prizes, it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. And that we won't come back from. A swift advance seems best for all concerned. Not least poor Mistress Kryle. Then let us waste no more time. The campaign for Alamegan liberation begins now. Our first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. I name this operation Rulger's Beacon. For as Rulger once sent his star to guide our ancestors to these lands, so too shall it see us home. The success of this operation is paramount. So long as the Empire holds Castellum Villadina, the main host cannot advance. Xenos knows this, which is why he has ordered Fodola and her men to see it to the bridge's defense. So we'll get to fight the Skulls again. The Butcher is not to be underestimated. She is decisive, ruthless, and feared by foes and friends alike. But we have a plan to defeat her. First, we send an alliance force down the main road, signaling our intention to mount an all-out assault. The garrison will muster their forces and prepare for a pro protracted battle. However, they will soon find that we are all we are ill prepared for their counterattack. Our men will begin to break ranks and flee. I see. Show them your backs and give them a target too tempting not to pursue. Aye, Fedola is too aggressive not to press the advantage. She will order her men to give chase. We lure them as far as East End, where the commanders will rally their forces and attempt to hold their ground. If all goes to plan, we should be able to keep the greater part of their garrison occupied, leaving us to tackle the ridges' remaining defenders. Very clever, I'm sure. But what are we to do if the Imperials smell a rat and return before we've taken the place? I don't need you to take Veladina, Kemp, Commander Kemp. All I need is for you to fly your flag from its tower. You mean to trick them into believing that the bridge has fallen? <laughs> Aye. We convince them Veladina is lost, hit them hard with your, our reinforcements, and watch them go running for the hills. Then, when the dust has settled, we regroup at the Castellum. What say you? It's a bold plan, but a good one. We'll do it. In that case, we shall support both the Resistance and the Alliance forces. 
Burr, Lise, Arenvald, I ask that you accompany Commander Kemp. Alizé and I will remain with the Flame General. We will return to Rauger's Reach and make our preparations. As soon as they are complete, we will join you in the field. Godspeed. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. Alright, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.